Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous Saturday. Today I wanted to share some of my makeup favorites. Uh, if the lighting is a little bit off or if it seems like it's super bright, it's because uh, it is about 9.30 at night, so I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too dark, uh, so it might end up being a little, maybe a little too much. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, especially when we're talking about makeup. Uh, all right, so as many of you know, when it comes to makeup, I am not a makeup guru. I have never uh, proclaimed to be anything like that. I like to have fun with it, and uh, sometimes I go for the, the the higher end brands, sometimes I stick to the lower end brands, it all depends. But the ones that I'm going to show you are ones that uh, some of them are a little bit newer, but so far these are the ones that I end up uh, using quite a bit. All right, so as far as moisturizer goes, um, I haven't had the best success with moisturizers in the past. Um, I end up liking them for a little bit and then I kind of fall out of love with them. But so far uh, I have been a big fan of the Jack Black, uh, the double duty face moisturizer. I ended up getting a small sample from Sephora. I really, really liked it because it wasn't greasy. And that's usually what ends up happening with moisturizers. They either get really greasy or they end up drying out my face and uh, then I look blotchy. But this one has worked out perfectly. Uh, I was, after I ran out of the small sample size, I decided to go for the 8.5 fluid ounces. And I think this was 48 bucks and it's awesome. Uh, it doesn't give me acne. It doesn't clog up my pores or anything like that. And Robert has really sensitive skin and he even likes it. He uses it. Yes, he does. I know he might be, if he watches this, he, he'll say no. He does. <laughs> so the Jack Black Double Duty Face Moisturizer is awesome. Uh, and it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have a very, it's not very fragrant either. So that's another bonus. Uh, okay. Now, as far as, um, as far as foundation goes, I was always a diehard fan of L'Oreal. Uh, what was it? The Infallible, um, Infallible Makeup with SPF like 20 or something like that. They ended up changing the formula and then the colors were all off and I have the hardest time. I don't know about you, but I have the hardest time with foundation because it's either too dark or it's too light. I've gone uh, to the counters so they can kind of match my skin tone and still it doesn't end up working out. I, I walk outside and I look, I, I don't know, it looks like my face doesn't match the rest of my body type of thing, you know? So my mom uh, actually gave me the Estee Lauder Double Wear for Christmas. Uh, she had been raving about it for years. She's been using this for years. Uh, so I was a little apprehensive just because I stuck to the to the L'Oreal, but once they changed that I was kind of like, oh man, I'm SOL. I need foundation. Uh, and she recommended it, but uh, she ended up uh, picking it picking it up for me for Christmas, and I think it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is in the 2W1 Dawn, and it's it is definitely full coverage, but it's you know, I kind of had a little bit of difficulty because when I first put it on it almost, it almost feels like it sets right away type of thing. You know what I mean? Like if I'm not, if I don't go to spread it uh, on the rest of my face very quickly, then it ends up just kind of staying there because it is, I mean, it'll, it'll be there all day long. I'm having the hardest time talking to. It's probably because it's so late, uh, but this stuff is amazing. So the double wear uh, from Estee Lauder, and this is in the color Dawn. And even when, um, when I, she's like, I think this is going to be perfect for you, my mom. Uh, and I'm like, I don't know, mom. I don't know if that's really my color. It matches me perfectly. Perfectly. I have no issues. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it ends up, you know, being okay. And it doesn't look like you could see the line on my face or anything like that. Now, as far as powder, I always used to use uh, Avon. I grew up with Avon. Um, I know some of you might be looking at me like I'm crazy, but I was. I was a big Avon fan, uh, and I started using it into my adult years. Uh, but then afterwards, I felt that it was a little too cakey. It had, it just had, I don't know, sometimes I felt like I would end up breaking out. Uh, so when this came along, this is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I fell in love. Uh, I love it because it's not cakey. I love the fact that it sets my foundation and and if, you know, if I'm, if I'm sweating or, you know, or, or if anything like that, sometimes my T-zone is not the nicest to me. And sometimes you'll end up seeing that it ends up being kind of greasy. I don't have that problem happen with the translucent powder. So I had the small one. I decided to get the larger one and it has lasted me quite some time now. This is in the, um, this is a one ounce, but this thing is amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. And plus it doesn't feel like you're caking on more you know, onto your face. So it's very light and um, like I said, it's translucent, so it matches any skin tone. So I really, really like it. It was between that and the, uh, what was it? The, is it the banana powder? Not the banana powder. I don't even know what the heck I'm saying anymore, <laughs> but, um, oh, I forget. I think it's from Nye Cosmetics, maybe. 
I think so. Uh, but that was the one that I was kind of debating between that one and the Laura Mercier, and I chose that one. Uh, okay, so as far as mascaras go, uh, one of my all-time favorites is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and this is in just the, the black. I have been wearing this for, I can't, I can't even tell you how long I've been wearing it because that's how long it's been. Uh, I love this mascara and for someone that doesn't wear false eyelashes like myself, we all know the hard time that I have with them. I can't put them on to save my life. Uh, this really makes my eyelashes look really, really full and I feel comfortable. You know, it's not like I have these tiny little eyelashes and it's like... No, it really enhances my eyelashes. I think so anyways. Uh, and I normally don't go for waterproof mascara either uh, because I do wear contacts. So when I do, uh, when I have worn waterproof mascara, my eyes get super, super itchy. So the Better, uh, Better Than Sex from Too Faced is amazing. And uh, I recently uh, bought the Dior, the Dior Show because I also used to wear this uh, when I was in high school. Uh, I fell out of love with it and then I found the Too Faced, but then I decided to reintroduce this back into my life. And I really, really like it. Uh, I love the brush that it has. It's very, I mean, you get quite a bit of product on the little spoolie there. Sometimes you get that excess on the tip, um, which kind of drives me crazy, but I just end up wiping it on the top of the, the little uh, applicator of the bottle here. Uh, or of the of the tube here, uh, but so far it ends up working out okay. And then just check out the spoolie on the Better Than Sex. There we go. So this one I feel it kind of separates my eyelashes a little bit better. Now for eyeshadow primers, I have been wearing this uh, for as long as I can remember. I think I even did a review on it on one of my first YouTube videos. I think so, um, but I am just crazy about it. And that is the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance. This stuff is amazing. And a lot of you know I tend to stick to glitter eyeshadows and the ones with the glitter are not the most forgiving on your crease uh, because you can usually end up seeing them after a few hours and it's just, it's not a pretty sight, right? Uh, but I've had really great success with this. I've had no issues and if I end up putting, uh, if I end up putting on the primer like at four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, at 10 o'clock at night at 10 o'clock at night my eyeshadow will still be intact um, it might not be the best around here but as far as it holding on to uh, my glitter eyeshadows or the eyeshadow itself it ends up working like a charm and to be honest I don't end up using this all on my eye I just use it right at the very top of my eyelid uh, versus the entire uh, the entire area I know some people do that I don't uh, because I'm not very quick when it comes to blending or anything like that so knowing my luck can you imagine if I end up putting this all over my eye I go to blend I go to put on the highlighter then I go to blend it it would just be a mess so I tend to stick to one <laughs> to one area of eyeshadow that I end up putting it on and when I do it ends up working out okay so the Too Faced shadow insurance and this stuff lasts for forever uh, I think one little tube has been like in, like a year and a half is that a bad is that a bad thing I don't know I mean is there a is there a thing where you have to switch out your primer after so many months or so many years <laughs> I don't know, but a year and a half and still going strong. <laughs> now for eyeshadows, I do have a few favorites. Like I just mentioned, I tend to go for glitter uh, shadows, but as far as palettes go, these are by far my favorite. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons and the Too Faced uh, Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. I use these to death, to death, to the point where I hit pan on more than one. This is the bonbons here. I hit the pan on this guy down here and on the dark truffle and I'm about to hit pan on another one but I really 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 love the pigmentation or the pigment on these I think it's beautiful and as far as the semi-sweet chocolate bar I haven't hit pan on any of these either but I mean I just love the colors because they're perfect for for me because I end up going for neutrals for the most part especially for my highlight and for my crease I don't get too crazy with colors I used to when I was younger I used to do like blue green purple pink and now I'm just like I can't do it <laughs> I cannot do it uh, but these are amazing amazing palettes and uh, I've also had them for a little while now but I mean for as long as I've had them and for as much as I've used them I'm surprised that I haven't had to purchase another one just yet so I'm very excited about that now as far as a few other of my eyeshadow favorites of course it wouldn't it wouldn't be a favorite video if my Urban Decay Moon Dust uh, wasn't in here I do have I think six or seven uh, different Moon Dust eyeshadows because again I like the the sparkles uh, I didn't want to bring them all out here because then this video would be crazy long uh, but this is in Midnight Blast this is one that I use quite often um, 
and I really like it because it's bronze and it's not, it has a little bit of a sparkle. It's not too much, you know what I mean? It's not like these big old chunks of glitter or anything like that, but it's really, uh, it's really pretty when you blend it with, uh, with the darker eyeshadows as well. And as far as some of my other favorites, these Christian Dior. Now, one of my very good friends, Miko Girly 99, she sent me the Dior Show Fusion uh, Mono and 661 Meteor. I talked about this on my uh, January favorites video. This eyeshadow is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's also a bronze. And the formula that these, um, that these uh, Fusion eyeshadows have is amazing because it almost feels like, I don't know, you, you put it on your finger and it just glides over over your skin and when you when you put that with the primer I mean the the shadow lasts all day long no problems no fallout or anything like that either uh, so I really like uh, the 661 Meteor I also have it in the oh this is light I cannot see uh, this is in 621 mirror 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 <laughs> There we go. Uh, it's a very pretty color. I'll swatch it so you guys can see it. This almost looks like it's a highlighter. Uh, it's very, very light. There you go. But this one in the sun is amazing. And then I also, since I'm so crazy about them, I also bought uh, 381 Millennium. This color is gorgeous. It's like a pewter and it has uh, gold flakes throughout it, but it is absolutely stunning. Stunning. So I highly recommend these. Plus, like I said before, their formula is amazing. Uh, and uh, if you're wondering, I just brought this out here just in case. Uh, I was recently sent... Um, uh, like a care package from a company called ISH, which stands for I'm Smoking Hot. Uh, they are with, uh, what's it called, with FabFitFun, but that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. That's what I've been wearing uh, this last week. So I just thought I'd bring that out just so I can share it with you guys really quickly. I have three different ones, but this one's called Party in Pink, and it also has the, the metallic and the, the glitter. I can't deny the glitter, all right? I can't deny it. <laughs> uh, okay, so moving on to brows. All right, so we all know, all right, we all know I have the hardest time with eyebrows, <laughs> okay? So when my eyebrows don't look like they belong to Bert and Ernie or to two different people, <laughs> um, I always stick to Anastasia, and this is, the, um, this is the dip brow pomade in the dark brown. Check this out. I've had it for a little while now, and I always put it... <laughs> I always put the excess on, on the lid because it makes it easier for me, okay? Don't make fun of me, uh, but it makes it so much easier. I used to buy the Anastasia, um, the Brow Wiz, but that thing lasts like two, three weeks, and it's 23 bucks. This one is 18, why did I get so high pitched? Anyways, I think this one's, what, 18 or maybe $21? and it can last me all year long. So I was thinking, okay, go for the Brow Wiz that doesn't last too long, but it makes my eyebrows look somewhat better, or should I go for the pomade and just just try my luck at trying to outline and do my eyebrows? <laughs> so I decided to go for this one. What a cheap ass, right? What a cheap ass, but it ends up working out for me. <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes when I go to do my makeup before I do like a YouTube video or anything like that, I won't even film if my eyebrows are that bad. <laughs> I need major help. Is anyone out there that can help me with my brows? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if the people at the makeup counter are like, whoa, lady, you need help. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so the Anastasia is by far my favorite. Uh, I really like the color. I really like the formula that they have. Uh, but it's a matter of if you know your technique, the Brow Wiz is better. It's a little bit more expensive for the product that you get. Or if you are a master at doing your brows, I highly recommend the dip brow because that's one of my favorites. Uh, okay, so moving on to uh, nails. I do get a lot of questions as to, you know, where I get my nails done. I really don't want to show them to you right now because they're kind of bad. Uh, but I, I do my nails myself. Uh, that's one of the things. Uh, I do like the way that manicures look and things like that. But I decide to save my money uh, on that and be able to splurge on something else. Uh, but for me, it is crucial to use cuticle oil and um, I used to have um, a different like a no-name brand and then on one of my FabFitFun boxes I got this guy this is the cuticle oil from I think it's Miami 
Deco Miami Cosmetics, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this stuff is amazing. But in general, I, re I highly recommend cuticle oils uh, because, you, I mean, I feel that they really, uh, they make a huge difference on your nails and they don't look beat up. Mine used to be super, super brittle uh, and now they look a lot better. Again, I wish I could share my nails with you, but they're not up to par. I really should have thought this through before I, uh, before I filmed this video. Anywho. Plus, I feel like I'm talking your guys' ear off. Uh, all right, so as far as what I apply my foundation with, uh, I used to put it on with my hands. That doesn't always work out for me, uh, and I always ended up with streaks, but ever since I got this, this is the Artiste Oval 7 brush. It has been absolutely amazing. I think that this is awesome. It does such a great job of being able to uh, to spread out the, the foundation without it being too thick on one side or anything like that. So I really, really like it. Um, and it's, I don't know, I, I feel like I, it's really cut down the time on me being able to, to put on my foundation. You know what I mean? Like before I felt like I'd sit there forever trying to put it under my eyes or anything like that. And so far I just, it's kind of like woo, 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 quick, you are done. <laughs> so the Artiste Oval 7 brush is my favorite to put on my foundation. All right, getting down to the very last things. Uh, another one of my favorites is this Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo for a highlighter, and this is an 01 Mood Light. I picked this up, I think it was about a year and a half ago now, and check it out. I haven't hit pan, and I still have quite a bit of product. It's still, it's kind of dirty though shame on me. Uh, but uh, I really, 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 really love the formula of this highlighter. I think it's beautiful uh, and it's not too much. It actually ended up replacing my, uh, not, not too much as far as um, the color of it. Um, it ended up replacing my blushes because I used to put on highlighter. I used to put on um, bronzer and I used to put on blush. I know, I know it might not be the best thing, uh, but it actually replaced my blush altogether. And that's really what I end up using on my cheeks here. That's what you guys see. I feel like it's showing up a little bit brighter than usual. Uh, I promise I don't look like a clown, uh, but it has worked out perfectly. And I haven't had any issues as far as uh, I know some people had mentioned that they had problems with, um, with breaking out, but I didn't experience that whatsoever. Uh, but I think it is beautiful and I love the colors that, that it has. There we go. So the, um, the skin illuminating powder deal. And to be honest, I'm super excited that it worked out the way that it did because Tom Ford Co cosmetics are a little, uh, uh, they're a little pricey. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, as far as lipsticks go, because this is makeup favorites, uh, I'd have to say that my all time favorite, favorite lipsticks are definitely Dior. Uh, I love the formula. I feel that it really ends up, uh, ha it has great pigment. It ends up staying on there. It doesn't feather. It doesn't dry out your lips. Uh, I just really recommend them. I think they're beautiful and, uh, they have a few to choose from as far as the Dior addict. Uh, like here I have 260, which is bright. This is the one that I constantly use. Um, it looks like it's kind of pink, but it shows up uh, very, very light. You can almost see a little bit of shimmer, not too much. It's not, you know, it's not overpowering or anything like that. And I also love their balms. I think their balms are, um, are great. Very, very moisturizing. Now, as far as balms go, because this is the last thing that I want to share with you, a lot of you guys have heard me throughout the years uh, talk about, um, you know, talk about Christian Dior, their Creme de Rose. This is one of my all-time favorites. I think it is a fantastic formula. And I really have to say that when it comes to Dior cosmetics, that's the one that I end up leaning towards the most, uh, more so than Chanel. Uh, but I really love this balm. I think it's great. And uh, I bought a few over the years. I've also been a big fan of the Emile Cordon. This one's a little bit newer to my collection. Um, they sent me another, uh, another one of the number one Lisa. So I've been enjoying that. But to be honest, as much as I love the Emile Cordon, and as much as I love the Christian Dior, my goodness, this one was sent to me by a very good friend, Diane. Uh, she picked it up when she was in Paris and I have fallen like head over heels for this lip balm to the point where I think it is by far the best lip balm I have ever had in my entire life. And I know I constantly come on here and I'm always talking about lip balm and lip balm and lip product this and lip product that, but I, ha I mean, I almost feel like I'm the girl who cried wolf. No one's gonna believe me anymore because I talk about it so much, but seriously, this lip balm is the best. It is, it is nukes, nux. I don't know, all right? I'm not gonna try to butcher it, but this stuff is absolutely amazing, amazing. I put it on 
every single solitary day. I only have to put it on once. And I have not had chapped lips since I have gotten this lip balm. So Diane, I thank you so incredibly much for this awesome, awesome lip balm. I think it is truly amazing. I've looked on a few different websites. Uh, I know Amazon had it and it was like, I don't know, I think it was like 15 or 16 bucks uh, and it was out of stock. Um, but I can't find it anywhere. I literally can't. Um, I know someone had told me that uh, it was at Target, uh, but I went to my Target and they don't have it. So I think uh, it's mostly on the East Coast. I'm not too sure. But if you guys get the opportunity to try Nooks, Nox, um, ultra nourishing lip balm. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Check it out. It kind of reminds me of Burt's Bees, but I think, I think I even said that. What was it on a what's in my bag video? It reminds me of uh, Burt's Bees, but it's a thousand, a million times better in my opinion. So I know, I know, but seriously, <laughs> I, again, I feel like I'm the girl who cried wolf. No one's going to believe me. They're probably like, yeah, right, Minnie, you always talk about lip products, <laughs> but sincerely, that lip balm is amazing. So I highly recommend it. Uh, all right, you guys. So that does it for my makeup favorites. Another one that I want to mention is just, um, is Buxom lip gloss. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of uh, Buxom. I have quite a few in my collection and they're just amazing, amazing lip glosses and they have a pretty good price point for the amount of product that you get. So if you want to try them out, they also don't dry your lips or anything like that. Uh, but for the most part, that does it for my makeup favorites. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to hear some of your makeup favorites in the comment section down below or hopefully this video helped you out to maybe try out some of these products. Uh, and I seriously, I seriously feel like I was talking a million words a minute. I don't know. Maybe it's because, I don't know. <laughs> There's no excuses. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And I will see you guys next week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.